Hi everybody, this is Eric Snopko with another mock-up from the Harry Potter franchise, Courtyard Apocalypse, composed by Alexandre Desplat. This time my challenge was to recreate the huge cinematic sound with the starter editions from Vienna, which are currently available at special pricing. So I'd like to share a few tips on how to get from the pure instruments that come with the special editions to the sound we are all after. As it happens often, the greatest arrangements come with a highly effective score, and this is a great way to learn from master arrangers. For me, fine-tuning the sound of sampled instruments is much like the work of a conductor who talks to his orchestra. By dividing the piece into sections and analyzing them, we can better understand the concept behind this track. Let's start with the heartbeat of this arrangement, the drums. I have taken the cool synchron drums and started with the ambience mixer preset. Then I divided the hits into three categories low hits, regular and close hits, and I tweaked the presets accordingly. For the low hits, I added a high cut filter EQ and some effects to make them sound boomy. The regular hits have more reverb and the widener plugin on the main microphone. The close drums have less reverb than the regular drums, and I have inverted the panning. Throughout the whole piece there is a sub-bass overlay. It is a commonly used trick which adds more low end to the orchestra. Luckily, Special Edition Volume 1 also comes with very handy FX presets and Venom was just the right choice to lay down the bass foundation for this piece. So our musical playground is already established. Now to a much more intriguing challenge. The rather simple musical figure of the strings needs a sound that can evolve and grow. Maintaining that melancholic, dark and disturbing feeling this scene calls for in the movie. Both velocity crossfade and expression will be your friends here. In this case the legato transitions were key and you could influence those transitions a bit with the legato blur feature. Make sure your legato notes overlap for the effect to be audible. It is subtle but very helpful. Also, I have sneaked in a few portament notes to enhance the slow legato. The dark sound of the strings is reinforced with horns and low woodwinds. Now is maybe a good time to introduce the orchestrator of this piece, Konrad Pope, one of the great heroes of film music who has already spent quite some time with my friends in Vienna, recording incredible music at Synchron Stage Vienna. Basically, this piece uses the same musical material all over. However, it doesn't sound repetitive thanks to the orchestration, which also creates the required tension. 
This is the musical material of the 8 bar theme. Ostinato, count melody, harmony. The first time the main ostinato is played by the string section, horns and alto flute, while the count melody is played by cellos, violas and horns, and the harmony is provided by double basses and cellos. The second time around the second violins play the counter melody an octave higher. As they were previously supporting the first violins playing the ostinato, now the first violins need support from another orchestra section. So a second alto flute joins the arrangement together with the English horn. A new color is introduced by the bass clarinet playing the ostinato an octave lower, creating a fuller sound. Additionally, the choir softly joins the harmony with the highest voice playing the counter melody. The third time around a simple change happens with a great effect. The first violins play the counter melody two octaves higher than horns, as the gap would be too large violas fill in for the middle range. The string ostinato had to somehow reflect on the octave change in the counter melody as well. And you can hear a great solution with the second violins playing the ostinato an octave higher. While shifting everything one octave higher, the double basses playing the harmony have lost a bit of the sonic energy. This has been balanced by adding a bass trombone in combination with bassoons and bass clarinet. To make the first violin sound silkier, they have been doubled with two flutes now. With the three-note horn transition, we move to the final section with a new harmonic structure. The arrangement really grows and the brass give it more gravity. The horns support the chord structure, trombones and trumpets increase the feeling of urgency and bravery. The choir adds an angelic touch as we reach a climax in a major chord that is quickly destroyed by the descending, tumbling brass line. The beauty of simplicity is what we are after in this arrangement, and matching the sound of this incredible recording took a bit of extra work, so let me share a few programming tips with you. Early in the video I mentioned I used velocity crossfade and expression to create the string melody. Think about the velocity crossfade as the main tool to create dynamics, and expression as a means to refine it. I usually use it in tandem, following the same motion. Notice that usually when the pitch rises, there is a tendency to increase the dynamic a little bit, and vice versa. Also, when strings are playing an accompaniment role in the arrangement, I often use the roof shape for my velocity crossfade. The brass and woodwinds behave differently. Unlike strings, they cannot hold a note indefinitely. So make sure there are some gaps in your MIDI programming, to let your players breathe. For the wind players, it is natural to end the notes with a lower dynamic, as they are running out of breath. But there are exceptions. Look at this example. In this case, the player starts the note at the highest dynamic, then reduces the intensity in order to have enough breath to end the note at fortissimo. Every melody has a different ways to be played, so use your ears to find the best option. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Don't forget that you can check out all special editions for free throughout November. Find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for your attention and I hope to see you again soon.